I know Sunday videos are not common around here, but I couldn't resist saying these. There's so many new features behind the scenes that I know a big percentage of you are never going to get to play around with. So truly, there's no better update to make a video about than this one. Join me as I go over all the new vehicle names, the server options, and even new weapons and vehicles in the law enforcement team. Let's begin with the quick updates that are rather straightforward. The law enforcement teams now get the sniper rifle and revolver under the names Orsus T5000 and Model 29. The Orsus T5000 will definitely be an equalizer when you're going after these high risk, murderous criminals because the sniper rifle in the hands of the wrong civilian can be absolutely devastating to all law enforcement members. So I'm glad to see that the law enforcement teams can now fight fire with fire. Another update which I can't really confirm or say much about is a 2011 Bullhorn Prancer, or what used to be the Dodge Charger. I'm not sure I'm understanding how this is a new vehicle. It was already in the game, wasn't it? Did it maybe get a facelift, a redesign, or maybe they just switched to a different model year? I don't know. I'm missing it. So all of you diehard ERLC fans, let me know in the comments below what the difference is with the new Charger. Speaking of cars, let's compare some of these vehicles. If you watched my ERLC and Greenville partnership episode last week, you are already up to speed on all of this. But if you missed the episode go watch it after this one it'll help you understand why this happened but in short it has to do with the legalities of trademarks and licensing to begin we're gonna visit greenville real quick to very quickly go over some of the similarities that now exist between the greenville and erlc vehicles let's just quickly pick out some of the cars that we know exist in both worlds to start we know that there's something similar to the 1987 chevlon lm this is the vehicle name in greenville we also know that there's something similar to the 1990 chevlon post also something similar to the 1990 Bronson Roxy. What else is there? What else is there? Just very quickly looking through the catalog here. The 1998 Falcon Advance. We definitely have something very similar in ERLC. Obviously, we have the Ford Mustang, the 1999 Falcon Stallion, although obviously we have a newer version in Emergency Response to Rudy County, which I'll show you here in a second. We obviously also have something similar to the 2006 Overland Buckaroo, and I'm just going to pick a few more here so that way you guys get the point. The 2007 Reverse Sport and the 2007 Strugatti Etour. One more time back over to ERLC and here now we can see how those vehicle names have now been adopted like the 1984 Chevron LM which I did mention, the Chevron Rever which I believe was something else in Greenville but the Overland Buckaroo is there. What else did we see? I believe we saw the Mustang. Where is the Mustang? Here we go. The Falcon Stallion 350 and I know for a fact I mentioned the Strugatti Etour. I hope you guys got the point. These are now shared between both games. Okay Zanies, now for the real juicy stuff and the stuff I'm actually excited for, the massive private server update. Even though I own and have owned my own private server, the only thing I've used it for is for recording videos such as this one without interruptions. Not to mention, I was never really enticed to use it as an open public role-playing server because the customization options just seemed really limited. But all of that changes today. While I could go into all of the details of what's new, I know that the thing we're all here for is the custom colors for all the livery vehicles. And no, I'm not talking about just the lights. I'm talking about actual colors on the body and panels. By the way, Zanies, I'm going to be seeing all of this for the first time just like you are. So if I get a little quiet on you, I'm sorry. I'm exploring with you as I go through this. The only thing I've done is I went through and I bought every single upgrade. The only upgrade I couldn't buy for whatever reason is a roleplay pack. Every single time I try to purchase this pack, it kept on telling me that this item is not currently available for sale. Your account has not been charged. Again, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something in the details. As you guys all know, sometimes I get too excited and I'm very quick to action and very slow in thought. So forgive me if I'm missing something yet again, Zanies. But nevertheless, let's join the server and see what's going on with the liveries. In the private server, and coincidentally enough, I ended up spawning right around the same point where I was previously spawned. And this is how we're going to begin to customize our server here. We're going to edit the settings. And by the way, if you guys ever want me to make a full tutorial on how to make and how to run and how to customize your own private server, let me know in the comments below. It is truly not as difficult as one might think. I will say, however, that it can get a little expensive if you want to buy all the premium settings, so just keep that in mind. How do we jump in into customizing all of these vehicles? They got to be here somewhere, and there it is. Custom liveries. I see it. We're going to jump there right away. All right, and I'm so excited for the Sanies. We're going to begin with the River City Police Department. Oh my goodness, and you can customize every single vehicle. That is insane. I don't even know what vehicle I want to begin with. I am going to begin with one of the vehicles that appears to be pretty 
customizable. I believe it has four customizable panels, if I remember correctly. All right, and we're going to begin with what's being called the 2018 Bullhorn Prancer Widebody. I could have the name wrong, but hey, listen, this is where we're going to start regardless, okay? And I already have some texture codes provided directly by the ERLC team just because there is terms of use associated with this. So I don't want to get too much into it. So we're just going to play around with the colors for now. The back is going to get that one. And don't worry if you're not seeing anything just yet. The magic will happen here in a second. The top is going to get this one. But the left will get this one. And the right will get this one. There we go. And now this is how the magic is going to happen, Zanies. Watch this. I'm going to make my vehicle a bluish color. Maybe like a darker blue. It's more of a purple. Still purplish. Too purplish for my taste. There we go. That's a good color. All right. And now I'm going to make the livery somewhat of a gray color. Go. This is a dark gray. No, that's a little too dark. That's still too dark. There we go. And that is an awesome package. Look at how great this looks. I cannot wait to see this out there on the streets. But for now, we're going to leave it as is. Let me know what you guys think of this color scheme. And we're going to do a couple more. Now I'm going to go into the fire department team and customize a fire truck. The textures on this vehicle do not require that you import them. So this one's going to be a little bit more straightforward. And for this one, I think it'd be really cool to have somewhat of a yellowish, maybe yellowish orange color scheme going. Let's see here. Let me try yellow for this one as well. Oh wait, that's the outer stripe. Let's make the outer stripe red. There we go. The chevrons are going to be orange. And then the decal color is going to be yellow again. And then the cab color is going to be yellow as well. Perfect. And actually, you know, I'm going to change the decal color to red. Yeah, that, that'll do it. And then for the vehicle color itself, we're going to make this orange, as I said. And, you know, I don't like it, so I'm going to make this yellow. I'm going to make this yellow. I'm going to invert the colors. I'm going to make this yellow. And everything else that was already yellow, I'm going to make orange. There we go. Yeah, that, that has somewhat of a good look to it. I'm going to change the decal color, though. The decal color is totally not doing it for me. Let's go with an orange there as well. And there we go. That looks pretty darn cool. Look at this new fire truck, Zanies. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. So we're going to name this. It's just going to be yellow fire. We're going to confirm. Library successfully updated. We're going to exit out of this. We're going to reset our character completely. And there we have it, Zanies. Taking a look at these custom vehicles. Look at how sweet this looks. I cannot wait to see what people do with custom textures. I might even get into it myself and try to figure out how to do some of these custom textures. And let me know in the comments below if this is something you love to see. But this looks absolutely killer right now, Zanies. I am absolutely in love with the ability to be able to customize the vehicles this extensively. Over to the tanker now, Zanies. Look at how sweet this looks. This color scheme out in the daylight just looks absolutely killer. Oh man, this is so awesome, Zanies. I don't know. Maybe this could be the start of my official Zany server. I, I don't know. I'm I'm just thinking out loud there let me know if you'd be interested in being a mod for my server in the comments below because if it happens it's gonna happen big time and you know it is zanies and i truly cannot resist zanies so i made one for river city police department i made one for the fire department so now i am gonna make one for liberty county sheriff's office i don't know which one i want to customize but i did a sedan and i did a big tanker so maybe now i'll do an suv here let's see what the falcon interceptor looks like and just as i expected i'm gonna add new textures to this one as well we're gonna begin with with the back it's gonna get the back one there we're gonna continue with left one and we're gonna move over to right one perfect all right and now since this is the sheriff's office normally they tend to be a darker color so we are gonna give this one a really really dark red sort of like maroon oh man that looks awesome i'm already loving the color i don't know if i even want to make the livery a different color it already looks awesome and white but let's try to play around with maybe a green a dark green of sorts no that's not going to do it that, that looks like christmas if you ask me a neon green would not do it justice no it certainly doesn't 
the yellow probably wouldn't look bad. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see what a black would look like. Oh, that completely darkens everything out, though. Yeah, and the transparency is not going to do anything, so I'm going to move this back to zero, and I'm going to change the livery color to... You know, that gold color doesn't look too bad. And you know what? I think I'm going to settle for a yellowish color. Yeah, that honestly does not look too, too bad. I'm going to prove this, so I'm going to call this red and yellow and i'm gonna reset my game and come back and show you guys what it looks like and here we go zanies with the red and yellow color scheme oh my goodness it looks absolutely amazing look at this from every angle oh this is just shining so beautifully in the sunlight like i said i truly cannot wait to see people's creativity come out and also to see what cities and countries and states you guys are going to use that's going to be really interesting as well Well, like I said, this is just a quick Sunday video. They're not coming around here. But let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if you want to see an extensive tutorial on how to make, run, and customize your own private server in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. And until next time, long live the zanies.